everybody, thanks for tuning in. So I just wanted to get into a little bit of where this name Cyrus comes from. And you see, um, <clears throat> and I'm not, <clears throat> don't get it twisted. I'm not trying to demonize the, um, the name Cyrus or anything of that nature. And I just want to point out what exactly this name means. Because there's a lot of things, you know, uh, decoding going on lately with names. And I think it's very important. Okay, so this name, Cyrus, Cyrus, actually means Koresh. And I will read to you about David Koresh. On a trip to Israel in the early 1980s, Howell experienced inspiration. Among the most researched and biblical symbols are the seven seals in the book of Revelation. The seals bind a document that appeared in a vision to biblical figure, figure John of Patmos. In the vision, the opening of each seal brings humanity one step closer to the end of the world. Language in this part of the Bible is layered with meaning and much debated by d biblical scholars. But after his revelation, Howell professed an intimate understanding. Armed with his new knowledge, he legally changed his name to David Koresh. Koresh is a Hebrew version of Cyrus, the name of a powerful but fair Persian king mentioned in the Bible. Upon his return to Mount Carmel, Koresh spoke with a fresh vigor and his message suddenly seemed meaningful to many parishioners. He gained a new influence in the church. So that is the birth of David Koresh and the Branch Davidians. So what are Davidians? Davidians would be the House of David. That would be people with the House of David bloodline. And he would not be wrong to say that he had the House of David bloodline. And if he went to um, Egypt and he really did get unlocked or his seals were opened actually, then he probably did have the Akashic Records. Because, let's see, the, the, the Akashic Records and the seals of the revelations that he's talking about, actually, January 2nd, 11 B.C., Infant Jeshua, you know him as Jesus, completed full transmission of the Vibeka Crystals Code um, during his stay at the Great Pyramid of, Eza, uh, Great Pyramid of Giza. So when they put the infant um, Christ avatar into this pyramid of Giza. It's actually a, a code device where it changes DNA, it unlocks DNA, it, it changes the um, matrix itself. Okay, so um, it changes the doors at, in and out of here. It's like if somebody locked the door to your house and you could get out of your own house. Um, he opened the door. It's just taking a little while to open them all. So um, that so that's that's like that's interesting to me, and also it was um, uh, I think it was Benjamin who um, completed the Akashic code into the Vibeka code of the Earth. So there's a code around the Earth, and it was actually uh, Benjamin who um, entered who his birth entered in the Akashic records. So you're talking about people called the Akasha A records or they're getting like divine blueprint or DNA activation or getting beamed or different things like that or they're getting information they don't know where they're getting it from. Usually it's the Akashic records and whether they know it or not they're being accessed. Um, so uh, the funny thing I thought about David Koresh was that um, I don't know if you know this or not, but Janet Reno had to get up in front of the whole country and world and make a public apology because when they went in and they did this, they had absolutely no evidence for uh, what they went in here to do. And everything that they say in these movies that they make about him is just what they say. And then it was like 10 years later that they had to apologize for this because they went in and they bombed this place and they killed all these people. And a lot of them killed each other um, knowing that they would be killed. So um, this just goes to prove that they do not want people gaining power in, in any type of religious thing, especially if they've just been to Egypt or Israel. So, and then maybe next we'll do one on the Knights Templar or the Rosicrucians. So anyways, thanks a lot. David Koresh. Koresh means Cyrus. Cyrus Cyrus King is the Persian king who was fair. That's from the Bible. That's it.
So um, really puts a lot of different things in when you start thinking about all the different Cyrus, Osiris, and Cyrus mentionings. 